What's up, crypto gang? Welcome back to another episode of Hack Crypto, where we hack our cryptocurrency and blockchain education. And if you guys are brand new here, welcome. We do a giveaway at the beginning of every single episode. And this previous winner that commented on the last video was with Empanado. Thanks so much for commenting on the previous video. It was a Telos video, and we also dropped over a dozen people Telos that commented with their Telos wallet address. But if you guys are brand new here, you can comment with whatever address you want, whether it's Ethereum or your Bitcoin address, doesn't matter. Just comment something about the video, like the video, be subscribed for a chance to win. I've been doing a few videos on a project called Nulls over the past couple of months, and I'm gonna do a few more over the, over the coming months and hopefully years because they are rolling out some pretty impressive projects. And the one that I wanna talk about today is called Nerve Network. Part of the coolest thing about Nulls that I found out when I was first researching it on video I did a couple months back was just the idea that the team is just OGs. They launch things on Bitcoin Talk. And if you guys don't know what that is, it was the original forum, bitcointalk.org, where I was playing around on there in 2013, 2014, literally messaging with Richie, the founder of Bitrix back in the day. Bitcoin Talk is basically the foundation where projects launched back when the ecosystem was just starting to form. People were creating altcoins, forking off of Litecoin, and all of these different types of projects were being released, airdrops, all these things. I'll be linking to the Nerve Network announcement on Bitcoin Talk below. But this kind of speaks volumes in general to Nulls, the team behind Nulls, and that they're rolling out Nerve Network by announcing it on Bitcoin Talk. This shows that not only are they familiar with the space, but they are OGs in the industry and they know where the hyper, hyper, hyper focused people are. Still to this day, I have a couple of Bitcoin Talk forum posts that are bookmarked on my Chrome extension. Literally, so I can go back, see what people were talking about back in 2013, 2014, and when Gox happened, all of the absolute mayhem that broke out on Bitcoin Talk. Knowles and the Nerve Network developer, Burzek, uh, I've messaged back and forth with him a couple of times about what they're working on, and it's really excited to see that this is a step towards bridging Bitcoin and Ethereum and connecting all of these blockchains together. And I think that that is what the future is going to hold for a lot of these different chains that have been built out with all these different concepts that are being put on top of the chains. I love the idea of focusing on the interoperability here. This actually goes back to something I was mentioning on a panel I was doing at NFT NYC in February 2020, where I was meeting with Agroad, the lead developer of Splinterlands, the game, and he said it really eloquently, and I mentioned it on stage after I'd met with him because I thought it was a really, really, really well-painted picture of what's going on. And there's tribalism in the space. I'm sure if you guys are familiar with crypto, there is maximalism where people believe so heavily in Bitcoin and nothing else, and some people just believe in Ethereum and nothing else and it's silos. And these silos are people that kind of have blinders on to the rest of what's going on. And what Agrode was telling me and what Burzek is trying to accomplish with his team is bridges between these silos. And if you're able to construct these bridges across these different siloed communities, you can really build something incredible. As I've mentioned in the past, Null's network operates on like a democratized staking system. It's a delegated proof of stake system, and it has essentially like a credit rating. And the proposed Nerve network is going to sit on top of Nulls, allowing this interoperability to happen so people can transfer major cryptocurrencies, you know, your Bitcoin, your ERC-20 tokens, ideally in the future ERC-721 tokens that I'm obsessed with. And you're gonna be able to use the Nulls blockchain to be doing all of this interoperability with this Nerve network sitting on top of the protocol itself. This is very similar to Polkadot and Cosmos. And there are those are two other cross-chain solutions. 
and it's a foot race to have people very much go after this because the person that cracks this is effectively creating the next internet, in my opinion. You have all of these different protocols and these different blockchains that are operating around. And if you connect them, that is a network of networks. That is just this huge, huge metaverse that's being created. And I love the idea of nulls being the forefront of this cosmos is also a very, very cool project. I have not dug too deep into Polkadot, but I have heard good things about it. So regardless of how you look at this, the step in this direction is good for the space. And this is kind of what I was talking about before, where you have these poisonous people that are just maximalists that think that one one token or one uh, you know cryptocurrency is the one that's gonna rule them all. But in reality, if you don't have these innovations happening, you're not gonna bring in and innovate. Uh, other crowds, other people, other types of developers, all these different things aren't gonna happen if you have that mentality. And that's what I really like about Nulls rolling out, you know, this additional nerve network that's going to allow this interoperability because I just like the idea, the initiative of them trying to solve something like this, regardless of, you know, if it's a competition or whatnot, it's just important to acknowledge the fact that people are innovating in the space and they're not just focused on one cryptocurrency or one protocol and everybody else should just leave them alone. That's just not how you move a space forward. So one of the things that I wanted to clarify is that it's not going to bridge Bitcoin and Ethereum. It's going to allow the Nulls blockchain to bridge uh, Ethereum and Bitcoin. That's kind of the concept here. So in a way, Nerve Network is going to operate as like this autonomous virtual broker with master nodes and all of these different nodes operating. And uh, it's going to allow for these different blockchains to kind of dock in there. And it's a really, really cool concept that they're having this NVT token on top. It's a really cool idea that you're going to be able to broker transactions between the two largest networks that have ever existed in the cryptocurrency space, Ethereum and Bitcoin. And Nulls is going to be that kind of broker that's sitting in between brokering these different transactions using this new network, Nerve Network, with the NVT token to transfer the value. Building like this interconnected future, I think has been mentioned many times in the past because I've talked about Icon and other delegated proof of stake projects, Telos and things like that. And the idea is that, you know, if you have all of these concurrent blockchains running independently, you know, one could be running for something like gaming, one could be running for something like your uh, supply chain, something, something along those lines where you have all these different chains operating and then you have nulls acting as like the terminal and the broker that's helping facilitate these connections and interoperability between them using the nerve network. All in all, I think this is an amazing step in the right direction. And as I mentioned before, it speaks volumes that A, they launched it on Bitcoin Talk, <laughs> so all the OGs got a chance to read it and see what nerve network is all about with this cross-chain interoperability. And it's just such a cool idea that there's going to be a connection between Bitcoin and Ethereum. Nulls is going to be effectively acting as this broker of transactions and it's connecting the two largest networks that have ever existed in the industry. And I think that that is something that should be recognized a little bit more. And that's why I really wanted to talk about this today was because there's a lot of innovation going on in the space, you know, with Cosmos, Polkadot and Nulls and now Nerve Network with the NVT token. And I think that there's, there's not enough recognition for these types of initiatives and the reality is, is these types of initiatives only exist because of the opposite of tribalism and the opposite of the maximalism approach. So the idea that Berzek and the team at Nulls are able to come out and just say, we want to connect and we want to collaborate with all the networks. Uh, we're building technology to allow this to happen with the Nerve Network. And it's just something special that everyone should acknowledge and everyone should be pleased that there are teams out there that are pushing the envelope here. Uh, there aren't just people shilling their own project all the time. There are people that are actually trying to collaborate with other people. And that is this at scale, <laughs> essentially. I mean, this is, this is just like a whole nother level where you're dealing with the two multi-billion dollar 
uh, networks and connecting them and being the broker. That that's just next next level uh, activity there and and movement for the space. So I'm excited for that team. I love the fact that they're doing this, and I think that it deserves a lot more recognition, as I said before. But that is it for this episode of Hack Crypto. I hope I did a good enough job of explaining Nerve Network, and it's super meta to read through all the information on Bitcoin Talk that I will be linking in the description below, as well as nulls uh, in the description and just Nerve Network information, a couple of news articles if you want to read some more about it. But I highly recommend thinking that way if you're getting into this space. Think, don't think about one project, think about all of them together and who's building the coolest things. And if you can see projects that are building amazing things, they're actually executing because that's something that Nulls is doing. They're building. They're not just thinking and writing white papers. They're literally building things and deploying code regularly. I think that that is something you need to look for. And if you're looking at that, think about how you can connect those people, how you can help, how you can reach out, how you can uh, shoot them an email, say like, hey, I know somebody that might be interested. I know a team that might want to partner with you, things like that. And that is how this entire industry, the pie grows. And uh, I think that, you know, Vitalik Butrin of Ethereum, he said it very well that he said this type of concept is uh, a step in the right direction. Like you're, you're walking in the right direction when you're trying to do this interoperability between the networks. That is it for this episode. Definitely slap that like, helps the channel. YouTube loves it when this video gets likes. And don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment below with your Nulls wallet address or whichever wallet address you want uh, for a chance to win on the next video. And I will see you guys on the next one.